Well, I'm in Selzy, which is uh, off the beaten track. It's, uh, it's the sort of place that people come to maybe just get away from it all. But I'm here to meet a man who's moved here for a particular reason. The skies here are very dark, and with it being near the sea as well, it also is particularly clear and transparent and, and steady, which allows to, you to get you know, really sharp photographs. Damien is an astronomer. He takes photos of the solar system using a telescope in his back garden. It's kind of a, a deep-seated interest I've had ever since I was a child. I actually got a small telescope and it's just amazing being able to kind of look at the belts of Jupiter and the rings of Saturn. It's such an incredible thing that there are all these objects out there. Have telescope, will travel. Damien's astronomy has taken him all over the world. Chile, Tenerife, here he is meeting the second man on the moon, Buzz Aldrin. And in the line of duty, he even had to go to Barbados. It's kind of quite convenient in some ways that a, a warm tropical island is the ideal place to do this kind of photography that I do. In that, whilst here at home, it's you know it's quite rare to get a, a very good, clear, sharp night. Down there, it's a, it's a very frequent occurrence. And the dedication paid off when he was crowned Astronomy Photographer of the Year. His winning photo of Jupiter is so detailed that you can even see the features on Jupiter's moons. It's now hanging in an exhibition at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. Absolutely thrilling to win. Um, there were so many good entries. That's one of the things that did strike me. Um, you know, there are, there are a lot of people doing some great work out there. It's just fantastic for amateur astronomy as a whole to, to kind of get, you know, the recognition that, that it deserves. Well, we waited for dark and luckily the skies cleared and Damien was able to give us a close-up view of the evening's full moon. Oh, wow, look at that. You can actually see the hills, can't you? Yeah, on the edge. We might find the lunar module, you know. Um, Do you think we might? No, sadly, we'd need an extremely large telescope to be able to see something that small. After a quick look around the moon, Damien was eager to show us somewhere a bit further away. There you go. That's Jupiter, isn't it? It's Jupiter. It looks as though it's shimmering. Is that just the atmosphere? Yeah, or? that is due to atmospheric turbulence. So, knowing Jupiter well, yep. what's the weather like on Jupiter at the moment? Um, stormy, and that's pretty much of what it's always like. <laughs> yeah, it's an absolutely amazing planet full of storms and coloured belts, and, and, it, and it's constantly changing as well, so it's, it's dynamic. You know, you are actually looking at uh, another world out there in space, you know, from your own back garden, and that's always quite a special feeling.